Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the SwitchBot solar panel. Now the SwitchBot solar panel is an accessory for the SwitchBot Curtain devices. And it works with both the first and second generation of those devices. And the solar panel, as you'd expect, is a way of charging your devices whilst they're still mounted to your curtains. This saves the need of having to take them down when the batteries go flat in order to charge them. Much like the SwitchBot Curtain devices, the solar panels come in a choice of white or black, and they cost £25 each. Whilst this is an eco way of charging your curtains, you are never going to make that £25 back in terms of savings. However, it's certainly more about convenience than saving money. The solar panel itself is a nice slim design and fits nicely on the side of your SwitchBot curtain device. The back of the device has two little arms for connecting it to your SwitchBot curtains, and it also has a USB-C port for connecting it to the USB-C port on your curtain device. Now, if your curtains are raised so far up that they're not going to catch any sunlight with the device attached directly to them, there is a cable inside that allows you to put them further down the curtain. This cable will obviously attach to the SwitchBot device itself and then trail down the inside of your curtains. With this device, you get some Velcro sticky pads to enable you to stick the solar panel to the curtains themselves. Setting up the solar panels is super easy, especially if you're going to connect them directly to the device. And I recommend regardless of where your curtains are in terms of height, you try this to start with. Setting up is as simple as taking the solar panel, taking little arm hooks, hooking it onto your SwitchBot curtain and making sure the USB-C port is plugged in properly. From there, in the app, you'll be able to see a little sunshine logo by your curtains showing you that they are now being charged via a solar panel. You can then, of course, check the battery level of your device within the app as well. Now, as I said just now, I certainly recommend connecting them straight to the SwitchBot curtain before trying the cable first, even if you think it's going to be too dark for them to charge. And there's a couple of reasons I say this having used this device for a couple of months now. Firstly, getting the cable out the back of a device is a little bit fiddly, and it's much easier to not do that to start with especially as you might end up having to try and put it in. Secondly, whilst my curtains are raised slightly above the window frame, and also I have a blind, I have still found there is enough daylight for them to charge. And whilst of course this will be less daylight than if they were further down and the blinds were open all the time, this is enough to keep them topped up all the time. This of course is based on average use, which I think is closing your curtains at night and opening them in the morning. And that's it. These little solar panels just sit out the way once they're on, even though they look quite nice. And actually you don't notice they're there much like the curtain devices because they're hidden behind your curtains. And that means the final question to ask in this review is should you buy them? In my opinion, especially with some of the packages that SwitchBot offer with the curtain bots and the solar panels, these are really worth buying. Whilst they're not the cheapest accessory, they offer a level of convenience that is really worthwhile. And for me, one of the most annoying things about battery powered smart home devices is that you do have to charge them every so often. And so things like the Eufy doorbell that have six month battery life and things like the SwitchBot curtains that offer these solar panels offer ways of you having to either charge much less or not having to charge at all because it's just happening behind the scenes. For £25 each, they're not the cheapest accessory in the world, but there are bundles to bring the price down. If you want to pick any up, I have put a link below along with a discount code so you guys can save that little bit more on those products. I've also put a link to Amazon if that's your preferred way of shopping. Both of the links to SwitchBot and to Amazon are affiliate links, so if you purchase through them, that does help this channel out. And in the interest of complete transparency, SwitchBot did send me these to review. That being said, what I say to every single company who reach out to me is that I will only review a product if I'm able to say exactly what I think of it. That does mean in the past I've turned down opportunities to review products because companies have said I've got to say particular things. SwitchBot aren't one of those companies from my experience, and that means hopefully what you guys see is an honest review from lots of people out there, but I guarantee you my reviews are always honest. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below and I'll answer those. Please like this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you.